Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we've got another little mid-size girl tries, and today we're going to be testing Urban Outfitters. Now, Urban Outfitters, she's quite expensive, and for why? I mean, we'll be checking this out just for you. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash the like and subscribe. I've got quite a few pieces and they were very expensive. Urban Outfitters is one of those things. You've obviously got like the likes of, you've got Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing, Nasty Gal. Then you go up a little bit and you've got like New Look, um, Topshop, RIP, like ASOS, that sort of like mid tier. And then you've got Urban Outfitters that is expensive and for why, like what? It's very sort of like there's trending pieces but who are they for, please? Like, there's some sick, sick stuff. They are always so, on, like, on point. They are always really on trend, obviously. And they've got so many sick pieces. But I hope you guys enjoy, as I said. And let's just get straight into it, shall we? No dilly-dallying today. Also, I hope you enjoy my little dice earrings. They are from a lovely girl called Final Touches, I believe. I'll pop her Instagram down below for you. I really love just some, like, crazy earrings. I don't know if you guys follow me over on Instagram already. If you do, pardon me. If you do, you know that I wear these quite a lot. I love, like, some really crazy earrings. I like them just to, like, add to a little look. I know, like, it it's, isn't included in this haul, but this is also from out Urban Outfitters. It's, a, like, a koi mesh top. Like, there's just, like, fish on it. And I got it from Brighton when I was with Guy. So I was like, oh, I want a nice little top to wear to the Ivy. I got this in a large. All tops for me. I'm a large in Al Urban Outfitters. Um, so if you guys, obviously, want to know that, that's this. And this... Is it what it fits like on me? It's very nice. Sometimes it rises up a little bit, so it ends up like this. But I don't care. I think it looks really sick. And also these jeans are from Cider, which are coming up in a haul very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for those. I'll link them down below for you as well, just in case you want to check them out. Um, but let's get straight into the haul. Probably my favourite item first. We will go with this. It's a little halter neck top. I think the colours are so, so beautiful. They've got like these little like heart swirly style. It's sort of like that marble effect, isn't it? You can see here, it's got like a marbly sort of effect, but it's all in like this little cute heart pattern. I really, really love it. I love the little like O ring you've got there. It's a little halter neck top. It's really, really sweet. The only thing is, obviously this is a size large, so all the tops are large, as I said. The only thing is, this top is 29 pounds. Yeah, it's £29 for a top uh, in Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Just in case you've never shopped there before, that is what the pricing is like for you, thank you. Um, but I really, really love this colour, and I think with like some yellow, I think my yellow denim skirt would look so sick. Probably not a very logical thing, because as I've shown you guys before when I've tried to wear the yellow denim skirt, it does rise up a lot. I did kind of need the size up, but who okay. cares? Just some normal pairs of jeans, anything like that. Maybe even like some green jeans, that'd be really sick. Um, and then the, the dice earrings, really, really sweet. 29 pounds for a top. So we've got this little halter neck top here. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is about these sort of like halter neck tops. They always give me white chick vibes. There's this, oh, I've just realized that I have one earring missing. Leave that there, just, just leave that there. All right, just ignore it. So you know the girl that goes to like the white party and she's got like a little white dress and she's got the little halter neck ring thing going on. I really love them. I just think they're such a throwback. So naughties, 90s. Look, and you'll see this skirt shortly. I'll tell you all about it. But yeah, as I said, it's a large, I absolutely love it. And it's really nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna flop anywhere. The boobs are in solid seams. Um, the next one is also a top. I got another top. I really love these sort of styled tees. They're sort of like a little tank top sort of situation. I really like them when they're like super cropped and they look sort of like, on the model it looked really sick, but so we'll see what a mid-size gown looks like in these. But it just says, um, hang loose, which my boobs will be hanging loose in this if I if I was to wear this. I think it'd look quite cool. Um, again, I got it in a size large. I love the little like outline of red on the sides. You've obviously got this pink and then the reds on the top here. I just think it looks really sick and I love the print as well of the hang loose. Oh wait, it's in a cherry form. I've just realised this. It obviously looks like a cherry. That's why it's got that on top. I thought it was just like palm trees. It's like a tropical theme, but it's cherries. It's got a cherry. 
makes more sense now. Again, got it in a large, and this was £22 for this top. I really, really like it. I think I'll be keeping those two tops anyway to not think about the rest of these but i think i'll definitely be keeping those two tops because i think they're really cute and i love just a little basic top to wear especially in the summer and this is the little top i got from urban outfitters um again i think i got a large yeah everything's a large and i really like it i love the fact it's got um hang loose there with like a cherry form um i've also paired them with these little cider jeans which i think they go quite cool together they're quite 19s quite retro quite vintage you know, and I think Urban is all about that. I think they'd really enjoy it. <laughs> These would be like a hundred pounds on Urban though, wouldn't they? Let's get real, let's get real here. Um, but yeah, really like them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to my, my, my haul. And then we shall go for this skirt next. So it is this print, <laughs> pardon me, sorry, again. It's this lovely sort of like marble, again, like a marble mesh, but it's got, um, like a material in, 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 inside. I really love that purple. And then on the outside, look, it's got like a little marble effect. I love this sort of like frill at the bottom. It's giving me like Lizzie McGuire vibes. I really, really like it. And then at the top as well, it's got like a little bow. It looks very sort of like Urban Outfitters, isn't it? It's like a classic Urban Outfitters moment, I think. And I love the colour, as I said. Um, I've got that in a large and that was 30 like how are you charging 36 pounds for a skirt i'd like to know i'd like to know how i really really love the color but in my head i'm like fucking hell this is already like 22 at 29 that's 50 quid plus this this is 80 pounds for three items i'm like fuck oh my god thank you thank you very much for your 10 percent discount you gave me because it was a disgusting amount beforehand before i paid for all this it was disgusting okay now this skirt I really really like it. I think it's giving me proper like Lizzie McGuire vibes with my like chunky flip flops. Pop them on for old time's sake. Let me just pop them on. Look at it. I can't. I can't keep all of this stuff from Urban Outfitters because I can't afford it all. I'm li literally about to start buying stuff for a house. You can't afford all of this, Abby. Send it back. Sending it back. Um, but then we have got these really, really pretty pink wide leg trousers. They are from Urban Outfitters as well. They're their own brand. They have got brands in their thing. It's sort of like an ASOS sort of thing, I think, because they've got their own stuff like these. And they've also got like other brands on there. They had Rag Priest on there, Jaded London, them sort of pieces. But I really, really love this color. Again, as I said, they're wide leg. I'll give you a better like look of what the length's like when we go on to the try on. On the side here, they've got the zip. And also, I really like the fact that it's got quite an extendable waist. You can see the elastic. Um, on the top there, which is really nice, which means hopefully they'll cinch me in quite nicely. Um, I got them in a large again, large across the board. I think I'm going to be a large in uh, Urban Outfitters, like given. I think that's quite you know, straightforward. If you're like a 12 to 14, like me, go for a large, and you'll be pretty sound. And these were 55 pounds. I don't think they were though. I think they were in the sale. I think I went and had a look in the sale um, section, and they were 55. So although yes still very expensive. I don't think they were 55. I don't think I would have paid 55 for them. We'll have a look and see. And you'll obviously see on the screen. But I love that colour. It's really, really pretty. I think it's such a sick colour. Now these. I'm not sure on them. Considering they're like 30 something pounds, you'd think the quality would be a little bit better. But they feel nice. They feel perfect. But you can see like my nickel line. I could kind of see my belly button when I was standing there as well. Like, I don't know. And as well, look, the label's here. And if these are supposed to be, what, 50, was that 50 pounds? Was that 50 pounds? Nah, sorry, fucking rip off. No, you're not paying 50 quid for these. I won't allow it. They're sort of like this flare. One of the very last chair standy uppy things I'm gonna be doing here. But look, this is what the style's like. Now I really like the style because they kind of go like this and then they flare out. They're a little bit flare-esque. The length is nice. Wax some Air Force on as usual. Very nice seams. However, I don't know, I just don't think the quality's there. You're trying to tell me that these are 55 quid. No thank you, no way, no way Jose. Mm -mm. No, these are definitely going back. That means I can keep the skirt. <laughs> and then, 
So the last two items I've got. Um, it's from this brand called... Is it... It's Friends. It's Friends? It's Friends? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's this really sick little toweling dress. And again, I got it in a large. I absolutely love that print. And that colourway as well is really beautiful. I did see, when we were in Brighton again, I did see this but in top form and i really wanted to get it but in my head i think i was like fucking hell that's expensive i am buying that and i kind of like put it away but i looked on the website again and i was like oh i kind of fancy one of them i won't lie to you but they didn't have my size in the end i think they only had a small left and i was like well obviously it's not meant to be this toweling dress guess how much it is you've probably already seen the tag but guess how much it is i'll give you a minute it's 39 pounds 39 pounds um, and I love it. I think it's really, really sick. However, um, your entire ass is out most of the time. So I won't be keeping that because it's nowhere near, like, logical for me to, like, why would I keep it? Like, it's absolutely beautiful. I would have it if it was, like, 20 centimetres longer. 20 or 30 centimetres longer. I would keep it. But it's just literally so illogical. Like, it only just covers my ass. And then when you start walking, it rises up and then your ass is on show. So it's a really illogical 39 pounds as well, fuck off. But it's a really lovely print. I love the print, but if it was a little bit longer, then I'd be game. It's not, it's not, so I'm not. Sorry, it's friends. Is that what it is? It's friends. It's friends? It sounds like that, yeah, it's friends. I'm not sure. Now, I enjoy this as much as the next person might. But why is it so short, please? Why is it so short? Look, my ass is about to come out. Who is walking around in it? I'm five foot four. I'm five foot four. This is a large as well. Like, this is, I know, a 12. And that's obviously the biggest size they go because Urban Outfitters is, it's something all right. It is something. Um, I love the material. I love the style, look at this, it's so sick. I love this as well. It's giving me like sports leisure, athleisure. I'm really enjoying that part. But the fact that it's, again, 50 something pounds for that monstrosity. It's not even a mini skirt. It's not even a dress, please, because it's just covering my ass. And I'm five foot four, so you can't even tell me that I'm too tall for it and I've got a long torso. I'm five foot Thor, I'm verging on petite, and this is the normal version of a dress. I feel very sad for you tall girls <laughs> that I've got to wear this because it'll be a top on you. I will tell you that for free. It'll be a top on you. If I didn't make that clear, this is going back. This <laughs> thing I got, I had seen so so many Instagrams in it, a little bit, Instagrammers in it. Dominantly over in the US, I've seen them wear it, but I have seen a couple of UK girls wearing it as well. And I was like, you are rocking that so bad. I wanted to see if they had it on um, Evan Outfitters and they do. It's from Jaded London. Pardon me, I haven't bought anything from Jaded London before. It was UK sizes. I got this in a 12. It actually fits. It fits, which I'm kind of like, okay, all right then. And it's this gorgeous jumpsuit, not jumpsuit, uh, play suit. Short ones are play suits, aren't they? Yeah. I really, really love it. At the back, you'll probably be able to get a better thing of it. It's like got letters at the back in this like, um, again, it's like a toweling sort of material. I really, really love the color. And again, I've seen so many influencers wearing it. I was like, I do enjoy that quite a lot, I won't lie. I do enjoy that quite a lot. But again, in my head, I'm like, it's June, soon to be July. We've got about two months left of summer. Am I gonna get my wear out of it? It was, I think it was 39 pounds again. I think it was 30 something pounds, maybe even 40. And I was like, oh, am I gonna get my wearing it? I'm not a huge play suit person. It's a really like cool piece to wear as well. I think it's quite a cool little like, also their tag's really cool. Like it's a credit card. Isn't that sick? And then yeah, on the side it says um, size 12 blue romper. I enjoy this very much. And they've got like random letters on. I think I've already showed you this. And it's, it's got rice, rice here. And there was another rice somewhere. Oh, there's a rice up here. And now I'm just like, well now it's a rice play suit. And I can't get the fact away from the fact that it says rice on the back. 
it's like no no rice no rice bow your not our dop rice this is a rice plate suit i can't i can't get it out <laughs> i can't get it out of my brain also it took about 50 years for me to try and do these buttons up because they're like i don't think i'm keeping this anyway because look there's like in the boob section there's a bit of like parting of the buttons and also cost per wear again this is like 30 40 pounds and i'm like first of all where are you going second of all would you even wear this i don't reach for play suits this is the thing like these sort of things yeah it's a footy girl like instagram gal sort of thing but are you wearing it i don't know if i'm wearing it like, if I get invited out somewhere, am I wearing this? No, I'm not. I'll probably wear jeans and a nice top or something else. I'll probably go and find something else to wear. No. No to the rice play suit. R.I.P. And that is everything. They are all of the pieces that I have to share with you guys. As I said, predominantly across the board, I'm a pretty much a 12. Pretty much a large in Urban Outfitters. So I hope that kind of helps you for sizing. Um, because I know I'm definitely thrown off if I... With Urban Outfitters anyway, it's expensive. And then if you've got to buy like two different sizes for different things, then it kind of throws you off even more. But I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash a like and subscribe. Um, um, are there any other brands that you'd like me to test out for you in the mid-size gal region? Is there any other mid-size tries you'd like me to do? Please do let me know down below or pop us a little message over on Instagram. I'm always, always about just for you. And other than that, I'll let you get on with your days. I hope you've had a lovely day so far. Let me know what's going on. What are you doing this summer? Obviously, with all of the like regulations slowly coming back to normal now, like we're obviously going back outside. I think it's like June 19th. Out, out. A little bit later now. It's July rather than June. Um, but I hope you guys are, you know, you're still going to have a good summer. And you're getting out in those shorts. You better be getting out in those shorts. Otherwise, I'm going to come around your house. I'll splash your face in. All right, so you make sure that you're having a fabulous time. Otherwise, I will have to. All right. <laughs> Love you lots. And I'll catch you soon for another video very soon. Bye.